Author and journalist Emma Wolf suffered from anorexia for 10 years. I thought there would be a massive hole in my life when I recovered from anorexia, but there isn't a hole. Everything else just expands to, to fill the gap, um, and it feels wonderful to have finally got rid of the millstone around my neck. One in 20 teenagers are believed to have anorexia, and sadly out of these, nearly half will battle with the condition for their entire lives. Tonight, Emma is meeting a woman who has never recovered from disordered eating and is reported to be the world's thinnest woman. 40-year-old Valeria Levitin weighs no more than a small child and has been struggling with disordered eating for over 20 years. I was born and raised in Moscow, Russia. I was never a, a very fat child, but I was never a slim child. My mother was strict, she was demanding. She didn't want me to struggle with my weight when I grow up, so she wanted me to like control a little bit my eating when you're always a little controlled about what you eat and how much when you're a child. It sticks with you for the rest of your life. In her teens, Valeria's family moved to America and she believes that being uprooted at a young age may also have contributed to her eating disorder. You want to be accepted and liked by your new peers and, you know, the thin girls are more popular than the girls that are slightly bigger. And so I wanted to be a little slimmer. In her early 20s, Valeria took part in a beauty pageant where she gained newfound confidence from being told how great she looked. And she became more focused than ever on keeping her weight as low as possible. At the time, I was looking healthy to everybody, looking very beautiful, but already I had issues with eating. Where does an eating disorder start and an innocent diet ends? I didn't think that anything was wrong until it was too late. Valeria is very aware of how extreme her look has become. We're not designed to be skeletons. We will all be skeletons at one day, for sure. But uh, we're not supposed to live like skeletons. Being the sin is not the greatest uh, feeling in the world uh, because People repulse when it's easy. As a warning to others, Valeria wants to share her story. Today, she's meeting with mental health charity Mindful and a group of parents to give them advice on how to spot the signs of an eating disorder. People think that there is an anorexic look. There is no anorexic look. There is anorexic behavior, which will lead to the anorexic look. So. The weight is a mere symptom, it's not the cause or the root of the, of the problem. Mm. How would a parent spot them early signs? Any kind of uh, obsessive uh, behavior with food, whether it's, you know, all of a sudden they start selecting very carefully or cutting out certain things. How would you suggest a parent approach their child if they were worried about their eating or, you know, suspected that they might have problems? I think it should start much earlier. It should be like part of upbringing, a part of healthy upbringing. Not focusing too much like, you know, on food or appearance. Don't focus on the negative. It's important to tell your children that, you know, they are the best. They are, they're good. They're smart. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. The best medicine in the world is prevention. Whilst Valeria has been telling parents about the dangers of eating disorders, Emma Wolf is making her way to meet her for the first time. She's intrigued to find out why Valeria is warning others on eating disorders when her own is so deep-rooted and apparent. What is it like to live with the label, the thinnest woman in the world? I just have no idea. I feel really quite mixed between um, fear of meeting her because she's really, really not well. But also, I'm interested, and I, I just want to find out what her life is like. I just wanted to start by asking, reportedly you're the thinnest woman in the world. What does that label feel like? I don't know who says that and where they got it Where from. does that come from? I have no idea. I have never stated that. It was never documented. I never went to any kind of competition for it, that's no. for sure. Wherever Valeria goes, she gets stared at. Do you care when people stare at you? I don't know. I, you get used to that, but I like to be left alone. 
Valeria is adamant that her health is improving and she's motivated to get better. Anorexia is purely in your mind when you try to be thin. I don't try to be thin anymore. For you, do you think it's gone too far that you just can't get back to a normal weight or do you think that you will gradually? I will gradually. You will? You yeah. really believe that? Yeah. That the longer you damage your body, then yeah. what, even when you want to become normal, it's difficult. Mm. There is food that I like and there is food that I can eat right now because of my, the state where my body is. Despite the fact that Valeria's eating disorder is deeply entrenched, she is working hard to put others off going the same way. Going public, I want to advocate that you don't want to look like me, you don't want to go down that path. Um, I think that's really brave of you. Well, in a way, but, but because I, in a way you're using, you're saying my example is correct. to show you not to be like me. Yeah. Valeria receives emails from all over the world from people searching for help and support on how to get better. Yet, regrettably, some people aspire to have a body like hers. Unfortunately, a lot of people are asking me for advice how to be like me and how to lose weight. I just tell them that it's the wrong path to starve yourself and to. Uh, go to self-destructive behavior that will eventually, you know, isolate you, destroy your life, and uh, you'll not be the person that you would want to be. But I'm very proud because I get letters from girls say I would do anything to starve myself, and I looked at you and I realized, you know what, life is so much more than this five kilos, and I stopped. Meeting Valeria has been a very, very emotional experience. It's shocking for anybody to see how far anorexia can go. And so as she is helping others as a warning to what eating disorders can do, absolutely takes her breath away. For more information and advice about eating disorders, contact your GP or go to channel4.com slash supersize. Just under two months ago, Dr. Chris